so today I have my, uh, what's it called? October makeup basket. Words are hard. I'm pretty tired today. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you've never watched one of my makeup baskets, how I do it is I do it at the end of the month and then I talk about the products that I've used for the month. Um, I feel like I can give you more information that way. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go in the order that I apply this stuff to my face. So I do my face primer first and I've been doing a combo. So I've been using the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. I love this stuff. It's not necessarily a pore minimizer. I use it all over my face, but it does kind of just help smooth and mattify a little bit. Really like it, really enjoy, highly recommend. Um, anyway, and then I also have been using the Scandinavia, the makeup primer spray, and this is the oil control one. I have like maybe a week's left in here. So I've just been trying to use it up. Um, this is also very nice, so I do enjoy it. I think it's, I think it works. Okay, moving on to my eyes. I do my eyeshadow primer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Um, my favorite drugstore eyeshadow primer, so that's what I use. Um, and then I go ahead and I set that. Now I have a bunch of eyeshadows to show you, so bear with me. Um, I have been setting it. So this is my little Z palette that I've been using. Um, this shade right here, this long rectangular one, this is from the Naked 3, um, Urban Decay's Naked 3. This is the shade Strange. So this is a matte um, cream shade. Sorry, I like saw someone out my window. <laughs> um, so this is what I've been using to set my eyeshadow um, primer. And then I also use that as a brow bone highlight. Um, since we are in this palette, this is Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. I have pan on it. This is what I use as a transition shade. Um, it's really, really nice. This one right here is Makeup Geek Homecoming. And then this one down here is Unexpected from Makeup Geek. So this one I use on the outer third of my eye usually. It's just this really nice kind of bronzy brown. I use it with a lot of gold shadows. And then this purple is a matte. It's a little stiff, but it's pretty good. Um, and I use that on my lower lash line quite a bit. So um, let me just swatch those for you. So that's the brown, and then that is the purple. Um, really, really nice though. Um, and then on this side, these are both Too Faced shadows. This one is, let's see, Dream On. It's a little bit darker than uh, like a brow bone highlight, but it's really good for blending out like my crease and stuff like that. And then this one is Honey Pot, which is Too Faced like famous gold. Um, I really, really like it. It's like a really bright yellowy gold. Um, I have blue eyes, so I feel like it looks really nice. So that's a swatch of it there. So that's been my little like single shadows. I'm, obviously, I don't use all of those shades every day. but um, And then I did use it in conjunction with the Urban Decay's Gwen Stefani palette. Um, so that is what it looks like. I've made pretty good dip in this one. This is Bath Water. This is a light gold that I was using all over my um, lid quite a bit. So that's what it looks like there. Um, also, I was using, let's see here, Anaheim. This um, kind of brown, it's a little bit more cooler toned. This one in my crease quite a bit. Um, this one is uh, serious, this kind of gray. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but you can't really tell, like you can tap it off, you know? I was using that to set my liner. Um, and then this shade, Punk, this is so pretty. And it's usually not a color I really go to. It's like a deep eggplant, but kind of red almost. I really like this one. I was using it in my outer third and a little bit in my crease to kind of like deepen things up, but also like warm it up. I really, really like it. So yeah, that's what I've been using for the most part. And then I also have this Bare Minerals quad, um, this shade called Chic, which is this pink one. Um, this is what I've been using in my inner corner just to brighten up. If you guys don't know, I really like a matte, light pink. This one's more of a satin. It's right here, but it still does the trick for me. So yeah, that is the eyeshadow situation for the last month. Okay, um, I also have been using my Essence 2-in-1 Shadow Liner. This is something I'm trying to, you know, work through. So this is what I would I would do, like, my matte shades, and then I would put this down on my lid and kind of pack um, shimmery shadows on top of it. Um, and then for eyeliners, I have the Laura Geller Incredible in Blue Moon. I am almost done with this, spoiler alert. So this should be done, um, and I'll be on to another one in the next makeup basket, which is cool. And then I also have been using the Nude... Um, eyeliner from Makeup Geek that I've been using all year. And then for my mascara, I opened up a new mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume. So it's the purple, it's new. They have a teal and an orangey red. So this one is a little goopy. I will say it's pretty wet. So I kind of brush off a lot of it onto the 
packaging. So this is what the wand looks like. It's like a twisted kind of wand. It's natural bristle, um, but it's kind of curved. I really like it, actually. I wasn't too sure about it the first couple times. Like I said, it's pretty wet, so I feel like... Let's see, I opened it about a week ago, so I feel like once it kind of dries out, it'll probably be really nice, but um, just know that it's kind of wet to begin with. I like it, though. It's really nice. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on for my brows, I've been using the NYX Tame and Frame, and I have the shade Blonde. So that is where I'm at. I feel like I'm going to hit pan any day now because I feel like I'm really digging in there, but we'll just have to see what happens. So that's what I use through my brows. Um, okay, so for our foundation, I've been pretty much only using the Sonia Kashuk um, Soft Matte soft focus satin matte foundation I have this shade 02 vanilla there is a lighter shade um, this is a little dark for me now about over the summer so I've been using the body shop lightning drops these are just like white foundation drops to find my right shade so that's been like my go-to everyday otherwise I've been using my everyday minerals powder foundation oh god I don't even know the shade whatever probably one of the lightest shades are it's the semi matte I don't have it here it's in my bathroom but like on days where I'm not really going to work or I'm not really doing much, I'll just swipe that on. It's really nice. Um, but anyway, most days I do use liquid foundation. Um, for concealer, for my face, I've been using the Wet n Wild um, Soft or the Photo Focus. This is in Light Ivory. And then for underneath my eyes, I use the NYX HD and this is in the shade Light. So that's what I'm doing for concealer action. Um, to set my face for my under eyes, I've been using the Ben Nye powder and I have the shade Cameo. Um, the banana is too dark for me, so I went with the other shade. This is Cameo. It's kind of more of like a, I don't know, light skin color. I don't know, but it works pretty well. Um, I don't think I really need a separate powder for underneath my eyes, but I had that in my collection, so I decided I'd just kind of start using it. To set the rest of my face though, the Tarte Smooth Operator. This is my favorite powder. You guys know that I just finished one up, so this is a new one. Um, okay, and then for bronzer, I'm using the Jane Inspire Bronzer. This is where I'm at right now, so I have repressed it, and I've hit pan again. So that's where I'm at. Um, hopefully this will be done in the next month or so. It would be really cool. But um, we'll see what happens. It is a little bit thicker on this edge, but, you know, I'm working on it. Um, for contour, the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Um, right here, I do have pan on it now. And then I was using the highlighter in here a little bit, and so was this eyeshadow. Um, so, you know, the huge. <laughs> and then for blush, I'm still working on the Too Faced um, I Will Always Love You blush in this palette. So it's this one, this peachy shade. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like there. Let's get a little swatch for you. Um, so that's it there. I mean, it's really nice. It's a good everyday shade. It pretty much goes with everything. It adds a little bit of warmth, but it's not too crazy. For my highlighter, um, other than the one I was using in the Kevin Aquan palette, um, the Laura Geller Baked um, French Vanilla Highlight. I really love this. This I sweep everywhere. So yeah, really good stuff. Um, and then I set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm back to using this guy. And then for my lips, I don't have my um, lipstick here. I left it at work. But I've been using the Urban Decay Rush. Um, that for me expires in January of 2018. So I want to use it. Um, I mean, I'm not using it every single day. But I'm trying to focus on it a little bit. I don't think I'll finish it all the way. But that's fine. Otherwise, I've been using the Bare Minerals Boss. I just have the mini size. This is their liquid lipstick. I do have it on my lips today. It is so pretty as just an everyday, goes with everything kind of color. I really love it. Um, I would definitely think about buying the full size of this. It's so good. And the formula, it dries down, but it's not like, it doesn't stick to your lips as much as other liquid lipsticks do. It's not as drying. It's really creamy. I love it. So yeah, that is all I have for you for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.